Big hits! Huge hits! He's dead. Fly here, welcome back to the channel. Fair warning, or whatever the expression is. I feel like I want to say forewarning, fair warning. Anyways, I am extremely caffeinated today, had a little bit too much coffee, so there's that. Anywho, in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. Recently, or the last two videos, we have taken a real life vehicle and we have built it in cross out. The fun part about that is, is that it um, looks like the vehicle in real life. The bad part about that is it's not that efficient. So we're gonna be trying to balance up this in our cross out series. I like building realistic vehicles. However, I don't like bringing them into battle every video or building them every video to get to get shat on and um, to luckily win. I wanna have those videos where we build a beast build and we're able just to destroy the enemy competition. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be trying to build a three cannon, uh, I think it's the, I don't know, they, they changed the cannons up a little bit in this game. Let's see here. The Executioner, we're gonna try to build 388 millimeters. This vehicle is gonna be a beast. We're gonna build it so it can snipe, but it can also get in and close and completely devastate the enemy. Uh, what I'm thinking today is having three, well, fuck, three cannons but we'll have a brute button to where they'll launch all at the same time. And then we can set it up so we can snipe and we can have a key bonding for one cannon, the other cannon, and then the last cannon. So we're able to snipe without firing three rounds off at the same time. Without further ado guys, let's get started with this build. <laughs> oh, all right guys so welcome back uh we're, we're we're coming along pretty well here i'm just gonna put back some of the armor that we had in the front just to give ourselves a little bit or our vehicle a little bit more protection here we're gonna have to put a support in the back so it doesn't flip over or maybe just drive it forward when it is firing there's so much power here. Okay, that one worked. Jesus! But if we're stationary... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I've never built a vehicle like this before. That's so freaking powerful. Maybe two of them. And... That's really... Is that... That's annoying. Do you guys see that? Okay, not these, because these are going to make it look un-SAF. Maybe just this. Okay, let's try it. There we go. That worked pretty darn well. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's good enough. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put all the finishing touches on. Uh, get this thing looking more, more streamlined and more ready for battle. And I'll be back.
So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Here is the final build with three 88 millimeter cannons. Yes, I know this one is offset. I think it kind of looks cooler like that, but honestly, there you go, all right? Happy, hashtag SAF. Okay, so let's go over this vehicle here. This is the front, it looks kind of mean, I think. <laughs> at least I try to make it at least more intimidating. It was like this at first, and I kind of felt like this was a little cross-eyed, like, hey, you guys, I don't know, we'll stop that. Uh, but we have three layers of front armor here. One, two, three, and then there's the cabin. We got one layer on the side for protection, and then we have a nice casing. Well, I guess not a case, but it blocks the weapon uh, for enough time for us to recognize what's going on and rotate our vehicle to engage. These aren't supposed to like protect us all game. They're just going to deflect the first contact rounds and give us enough time to react. But guys, in the comments below, what do you guys think we should call this thing? I mean, we could call it green mean killing machine or something, but I, I don't know. I feel like calling it Bulbazar. Continuing on in the rear, we have, uh, let's push it up just a little bit more. Can we, can we get away with that? Let's try it out. Perfect. So this is our recoil support we showed earlier. If we don't have this on our vehicle at all, absolutely not. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, we added a lot of front armor, but still, that having that recoil, um, or that, yeah, that recoil support there gives us much more time on target. It won't throw us off so far, and we'll be more accurate. So we'll keep that on there. And then under the hood, or under the rear, we have uh, one ammo crate here, one gas energy, or excuse me, gas generator, and then two more, huh. Yeah, there we go. Two more ammo crates in there. So let's go and control Z that. Oh, no, oh, shit. Gosh darn it. Okay. And then we need a paint. <sighs> yes, absolutely. Perfect camo. We have the crash dummy camo here. And without further ado, let's go kill some shit. Oh, oh ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first battle. Oh, fuck yeah, perfect. Holy shit, these power scores are massive. Let's check out the other, oh, sh fuck. <laughs> Look at everyone else's builds. I love seeing power score 8,000 builds. They get crazy with their designs. All right, Smurf, thanks for the push. Hmm, okay, how, stop it, stop it. You're making my screen freak out, man. He's like, all right, man, I got you. So, <sighs> Just, just go, just go away. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we can either snipe. Oh my God, that guy's about to fall over. We either snipe, which I don't really feel that comfortable doing with these guns. We got this this guy with a 25. I think those are two 25 millimeters and he has a sight on them. I wanna get low. I wanna get low with our team here. Because if we can get these three 88 millimeters in, I think we'll win this in a, a group fight like this. Nothing really. They're kind of hiding behind the ship. Enemy right here. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go in. Oh, I pressed fire right there. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, the last two times I've played cross out. Hang on a second. We got work to do here. Good hit. The Smurf guy's been my way all fucking game. That guy's dead. I think I've taken off. Watch out, boys. I can take off these weapons here. Too fucking low. Gosh darn it. Okay, we're gonna hunt this guy out. But yeah, it feels great just to have that power again. Good gosh. Okay, so there's one more guy over this hill. I think I just pressed C back, but who cares? Here he is. Hopefully, hopefully he'll move this way. Oh, 
yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we're going to have so much fucking fun today. Oh, and the best part about these things... Wait, there's still one more guy over here. Is that they have a lot of structural strength. There we go, GG. So, even though people might be trying to shoot them, they're going to last so much longer than many other weapons in the game. Flipping fantastic. Great, 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 great. Perfect map. Yes, thank you, Crossout. You're being awesome today. And the other good thing about these cannons is that just the splash damage. Like, even if we don't even aim for their weapons or critical components, we just fire at center of mass, chances are that a lot of their components are going to take massive damage just by the 88 mil splash damage. I'm going to follow this guy over to the left side. Hopefully there's not two or three over here. There's just maybe one that we can deal with. Yeah, that, that recoil support in the back is clutch. It's going to help us deal with obstacles and whatnot. He's like, oh man, dude, I'm, I'm cool. Wow, there goes so much of his armor. Got a little nick right there, nothing special. One guy far, can't really see him, I'm just going to fire. Got him. Wow, there goes all his armor right there. Kill assist. Okay, we got two on the left side we're going to push for. It. One more flanking around, too. This guy looks very dangerous, actually. Yeah, look at that. He's not going to last long. Oh, my gosh. Cannons are the way to go. Cannons and shotguns and cross out. Oh, shit, guys. They're capping like a ma mean mamma jamma. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Get back there. Get back there. Oh, lame, dude. Sorry, I was just... I'm, I'm just dumbfounded by the strength of these cannons. I bet none of those guys got any XP, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I guess. Well, at least you get the moral victory. I think they would have done better for themselves if they would have just tried to kill one person. A lot of people would have gotten assists. That would have drove their uh, score a little bit higher. Ooh, new map. This is encounter, so we have to cap the enemy base. Look at these fucking power scores, boys. Ooh, it looks like a, a European city. Holy crap, how do we get to A already? Oh, our AIs are duking it out. Okay, let's get to a good location that we can sit and fire. We got a lot of guys coming over to our right side. Just getting a spot with some depression here. Yes. Fuck you, Mary. Where are the real players at? Oh, well, okay, found him. Need to get away from that guy. He's he's targeting our big cannons. Let's actually go around to the left side. Come on, bus, let's move, let's move. Yeah, he didn't aim at any of our armor. Straight weapon shooting. Okay, hang on, we got one guy over here. This is the guy that was, no, this guy wasn't shooting us yet. This guy might be dead next shot, honestly. Oh, my Lanta. Hopefully our team can deal with that guy over there. No! The meta is so strong right there! Help me! Okay, run, 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 run. So what happened? What happened right there is that the guy behind us, I think his uh, stupid bot, well, it wasn't stupid because it really affected us, his heavy machine gun bot shot off our back support, and that actually bring me, brings me to the conclusion that this does not have enough structure, because if we lose this thing, we are completely done, so let's put a, a much stronger recoil support on. How strong is this? 79, would that do it? Just like kind of, that might scrape the bottom. No, that actually works perfectly. I'm gonna put two, just for redundancy. Sorry about that, I don't know why. <laughs> we went right down to the floor. <laughs> Stop it, mouse, right there. Okay, get that paint scheme going on. 
I, don't, I think I've already said this many times today in today's video, you know? But it, it just really feels, it feels good having ultimate power. Ultimate power like that. Just you look at someone and uh, chances are the next salvo you have with them after the first one hits, they're dead. So should we snipe or should we go? No, 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 no. I'm going to, I'm not going to be cliche here. Usually with a cannon build, I would go up to the top and support our team going into the cap. But we don't really have a side on. And I think we're most effective close up. Because people just can't handle the 388s. It's just, it just scares them. Even if we don't hit that hard, chances are they're going to just be like, oh, fuck this, man. Oh, yeah, by the way, hopefully no one comes from behind us. I do have one guy still in spawn, though. So we have three AIs. They have three AIs. Good. Should be someone over. Ooh. No, no, stop that. Get that 25 out of here. Oh, too many 25ers. Get some cover here. There we go. Good, good, good. Make it. Let them come to us. Okay, we're gonna push in there. I think we have one more guy still sniping. Whoa, this thing's got velocity on them way too high. Good hit. Okay, we're gonna push in there. Okay, we're gonna help uh, Mort out here. There's the other player, I think. One more guy. Sayonara, comrade. Yes. Okay, now we're capping, and there should be one sniper on this hill still. Oh, nice. Perfect. Welcome to a... This is a new map. Usually, we have to fight over here to the left. Oh, shit. Enemies. Watch out, teammates. Nah, bad hits right there. We're going to brute it up. Big hit on his core. They're probably gonna be running to our base, I'm sure. They're not gonna stick around and fight. Oh, yeah, maybe. Pull him back. Did that guy not learn his fucking lesson from last game? Big hits! Huge hits! He's dead. Oh my God. If you guys are ever striving to absolutely dominate and cross out, get the cannons, get the 88 millimeter cannons. That's, that, that, that's just unbelievable right there. This build is probably my most effective build so far. We only got three kills, but if there were more enemies close to us we would have gotten you know five plus guys i hope you have enjoyed today's video by the way this was a viewer suggested build so if you guys have an idea that you would like us to try out maybe just using certain weapons and whatnot to see their efficiency uh, with a build let me know in the comments below until next time guys have a great day peace out